park may no longer rely on horsepower for energy, but one resident's decided to harness the wind's power. He's installed the first wind turbine on the island that plugs directly into the main system. As soon as the wind blows, his house runs on that power and he saves money. The extra energy should cut his electricity bills by a third and pay for itself within five years. Any excess energy produced even goes back into the grid. There are two principal advantages. The first is that it will cut um, energy bills, cut electricity bills, and the second is it will reduce carbon dioxide um, production because you're obviously producing electricity here from the wind rather than from burning coal or oil. Around the world we've got to reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by 50% over the next 40 years. That's quite a challenge. If everybody puts a wind turbine up, we're going to get, make a good, uh, go a good way to hitting that. I'm hoping it'll sort of showcase wind turbines for people who are either interested or who oppose them on the island. Um, there'll be one up and running, people can come along and have a look and I was proposing to have a sort of open day, an open invitation to people to come along and have a look and make their own minds up. Also it gives the Development Control Committee the chance to come along and have a look and take into account the noise issue, the sighting issues, all the things they're going to have to deal with when they get planning applications. Critics of wind turbines often say they're obtrusive and noisy. Jeremy says the distance between his house and the turbine means he won't hear a thing. And for Jeremy, that's the sound of money being saved. In Guernsey and Jersey, a unit of electricity costs approximately 10 pence. In Sark, it's four times that, about 40 pence a unit. Now, a system like the one that's just been installed is expensive, about two and a half thousand pounds. But when that's compared to the electricity bills over here, it could turn out to not only be environmentally friendly, but economical. Sark's planning authorities have already received a number of applications for more wind turbines. If approved, the island could see a whole new spin on power production.